friends, what's up? I just noticed these little glasses came with a little lace. <laughs> Here, I'll do this. Oh, shut up, man. A little lace uh, thing. That's, so I got that going for me, which is good. All right, what we're doing today is troubleshooting some parking lot lights. These are, this is the lot where we painted all these poles, all that stuff. Um, but there's a couple that have three out on, on the pole, which leads me to believe it's probably not the, uh, it's probably not, you know, three bulbs or three ballasts that went bad. So, got my handy dandy little cart. Uh, yeah, this one will probably work. There we go. I made these covers for these, uh, you know, when I did these poles. These poles were abandoned. You know, this whole lot was abandoned a while back, and uh, uh, I just bought these gloves. I wish I would have bought the next size down. Anyway, let's see what we got going on in here. Right here, so these poles are 240 volt. Uh, here's the feed in down there. The, and then these are called inline fuses. So what we're going to do is check if these fuses are any good. Sorry, I'm not good with these glasses. So you got to check them both because um, if one of them's out, it's only getting 120 volts. I got to go get my tester. I left it on the front seat. So, I don't know, it's like 8 degrees today. So, whatever, it's part of it though, I don't care. You dress warm, you know. Okay. So, let's see what we got over here. Now, I already went to the source, which is uh, over there. You can see the uh, pole, and everything's feeding out okay. I've got power everywhere. So, let's see what we have here. Uh, so this sign here in the middle, that's continuity. Let's see what we have. And you can tell what it is. It's just, is it a closed? See, it beeps. So let's see this one. Nope, bad fuse. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and replace that one. It's not rocket science, you know, it just kind of is what it is. Wow, maybe they were both tripped, huh? These poles are so friggin' old. Ugh, trying to work with these god darn gloves on. Look at this, I got the perfect tool for the job here. Look at this, get out over here. These actually, I hope Tracy's not watching, these were hers. She goes, I need some tools for the house. I'm like, oh, well, by all means, here you go. And, uh, you know, I let them stay in the house for maybe a year. And they were still like, you know, a pack of three brand new channel locks just laying in the drawer. And I resisted as long as I could, guys. But, and, and that's the thing, like, why does she need them anyway? If anything's ever broke, she's just going to make me fix it. So, anyway, let's see what we can get in here. Okay, there you go. All right. Fancy schmancy. Um, all right, come on. Friggin' surgeon over here. Look at these. <laughs> Got the wrong size, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so there's that one. Let's see if that's any good. These lights aren't on, so it's probably bad. Uh, okay. Oh, it's good. Well, that sucks. Does that mean that all three lights are out? Well, that one was definitely bad. All right, so we got power going up there. That kind of blows. I was hoping to fire them up. So that means that we've got, uh, come on, you bastards. That means that we've got, uh, 
trouble up there too. Something blew that fuse and it was probably whatever it was. God. Whatever it was was uh, blew that fuse and it's up there which means we're going to have to go up. But I don't know if I'm going to videotape all this because you know the longer these videos get I record them that means I got to edit them and I'm, I don't like doing that so you guys just kind of get what you get and you're gonna like it oh, and the little fucker stripped out or something there's these people I hear myself talking to myself come on there we go oh that could be it too. would not making a solid connection. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. These things suck. There you go. Oh, no, it's crossed there. Oh, whatever. It's on. Anyway, the problem's up there then. So. Uh, on these bulbs, you can tell if it's the bulb. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, that one's definitely the bulb. There'll be a, you know, uh, in the middle there, it gets black when the bulbs go out. So, uh, you know. And these ones don't look like that, so. Oh, uh, maybe I'll just bypass this goddamn inline fuse for a minute. Come on, get on there, you cunt. <sighs> Alright, step two. Thing is uh, stripped out or something. So, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to bypass it for now and see if we can get it to hit. Come on, you little bastard. These things get, these wires are stiff as hell uh, when it gets cold. They don't want to strip or nothing. Come on, you cook. Sorry for my language. I just I don't know what to do. Alright. Uh... I keep looking around to see if anyone's friggin' looking at me. And we need some wire nuts, cause I... Oop, there you go. Look at that. Johnny on the spot with a wire nut. Alright. Ah ha ha! There we go. Okay. So, this part was defective. That's still a good fuse in there. This one is no good. We'll keep that little sucker in there. Alright. Alright, so that means whatever blew that fuse, most likely the ballast went bad and blew it out. But we do have uh, we do have power up there and uh, so it's just process of elimination. Now I know I have power going up to my pole. And uh, obviously the lights on, so that means the only other thing that could be, or you know, is the bulb is bad, and those other two, the bulb is bad, or the uh, ballast is bad. And I'm leaning towards it's probably a bad ballast in one of them um, because it blew the damn inline fuse, you know. Uh, I should write my name on those and be like, no, babe, they're they're both mine. You must have must have lost those. So I'm gonna have to get another. Ew, it smells. No, oh, no, doesn't smell that bad. Let me tell you a little story, guys. Okay, story time with Mr. Nate this morning. Okay, so there was this hillbilly guy, Ron, and uh, he worked at the biggest company I ever worked for. Uh, anyway, so. We showed up and there was there were some lights inside of an island in, in a parking lot. You know, there was a curb around it with like bushes and stuff. And, and, and actually, it had pine trees. 
Okay, so we showed up and the light doesn't work, whatever, you know? So we take the access off and man, did it smell inside of there. And I'm like, you know, I grew up on a dairy farm, man. I, I've smelled what dead animals smell like, you know, just living on a farm. And I'm like, there's something. He goes, no, no, it's just stagnant water, Nate, you know. And this guy, he's got curly hair. He was missing his front tooth. But he's actually one of the best electricians I ever knew. Uh, the Navy trained him, and, and man, he could troubleshoot. That guy taught me a lot. Anyway, uh, so I'm like, all right, fine, it's just nasty water, you know. So the guy reaches his hand down in there you know the power was off reaches his hand down there and he goes yeah i think some leaves or something came out of there and he pulls out his hand and he's got like fur and and intestines like guts hanging off of it it was a rotted squirrel and he tries to flick it off and it came back and flicked on his face <laughs> So he was like, ah, like there was, there was squirrel guts hanging off his lip, man. And what had happened is there's a cap on the top of these poles and the little squirrel uh, chewed it off and fell down in there and chewed the wires up and shorted out the pole and died, you know. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that, you know, a little funny little story there. Uh, good old Ron with the rotted squirrel guts on his head. <laughs> you guys would have had to see it. It was pretty funny. Um, this one is going to be okay for now. I'm going to have to go get another inline splice for that. Make sure I don't short that wire. There we go. And, uh, you know, that's all I have to say about that. So... Alright, let's go do another one. That's the thing about being an electrician. There really are no good gloves you can use. You gotta take your gloves off anyway. Okay. So, upon my first inspection here let's see what we got all right there's another inline fuse and here's my second one oh look at that well that doesn't look great well, let's see what we got get Tracy's channel locks over here there you go um, we'll try this one first everything is just so cold I don't want to crack these bastards so let's see what we got in this one I'm trying to make sure you guys have a good view I might keep my hat out of the way and stuff all right let's see what we got Ooh, it's fried in there ladies and gentlemen so could it be yeah that looks bad Anyway, so we're not even going to test that one. I know it's bad. Those lights look pretty clean, too, so probably not that. Uh, give me a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's just test the new one, make sure, so I'm not... Okay. Put it in continuity. We have continuity. We have continuity. This is a good fuse. All right, get you a little butt down in there. Ooh, I heard some arcing, which means it's pulling power. We'll get this on there and see what we got up top. See if we're in for a, uh, you know. Ha ah. ha, all three of them bit, uh, darn things came on. So there it is. So a lot of these are just inline fuses. Um, that pole, we got two out over there. So I'm going to get all the inline fuses uh, done. And then after that, I'll, uh, I will uh, go ahead and uh, go up these poles, man. Start changing bulbs. Thing is, up there, it might not look that tall, but... There's nothing to block the wind. So you're up there and you're just freezing your nuts off, man. 
um, her butt off, I guess. Sorry about that. So what we do, I don't work under these brand new cars. So I'll show you real quick what we do is uh, we call the dealership and we just give them these little numbers. Oh, great. So now we're going to, these numbers right here, we just give them those numbers and uh, they've got a, they punch them in and, you know, it comes up with the right keys and uh, they move them because I'm not dropping a ballast on one of them SOBs. Uh, so there, there you go. I'll show you where the power source. My tools are over there, but I can still run kind of fast. Anyway, uh, you know, if somebody's running away with my stuff, I'll just show you guys this real quick. Sorry about the sun. I don't want to glare and burn your retinas out. Um, okay. So, here it is. Uh, Three-phase 208. Or it might be three-phase 240. Whatever. But, <coughs> so that comes down into here. From here, comes into here feeds this 400 amp main from that main it feeds all these breakers and then these breakers like this one goes to right here 240 this one goes to right here 240 240 and then this is the timer so this timer engages sends power over to here and engages this and lets the power go through uh, over here we have a little bit of a different story this is three phase. I don't know why they did that, but they did that. So whatever. And this one actually looks to be. Yeah. So this is a two. 240 volt. Or no, that's 120 coil. Okay, whatever. Anyway, uh, so there you go. That's that's what controls all this stuff. I replaced this timer. Uh, when I got this parking lot running, but I just saved this because sometimes you can steal parts off of it to make this one work. Anyway, so that's what we have over here. Ah, oh, there's a water from last time I was here, probably. Um, all right, so that's good. We, you know, we got that one fired up. Uh, there's a lot of lights out here. We haven't done any maintenance on this lot since you know early spring or late spring early summer when we did this lot I'm sure you guys remember some of the videos um, but here that's gonna be an inline fuse that's gonna be an inline fuse just the chances of it being all three lights are out or all three ballast or a combination of either one is uh, like getting struck but now we're not gonna say that because we're doing electrical work it's just not really good you know I don't want to jinx myself jinx myself so, anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and <coughs> uh, replace the rest of these inline fuses and get going when I can get going. And then it's bucket time and freeze your friggin' butt off. So, that's what we got going on here, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to.